excited to be here crafting for you today. Amigos, amiguitas, bienvenido a mi canal de YouTube. Gracias por acompañarme hoy este día. Friends, I'm so excited to be crafting for you today. Today I decided it would be a good day to craft a patriotic craft. Let's make the cutest Uncle Sam you've seen in a long time. Let's get started, friends. Okay, friends, for today's craft, what you're going to need is the pattern. I've included this pattern in the link. Uh, Eric will link it for you. It is free. You can download it. You have to download it first and then print it. Am I correct, Eric? Yes. All righty. Yeah, if you, I, we've noticed that there is a little bit of an issue. If you try to print it without downloading it, it won't print it to the right scaling. Okay. Meaning it'll print a little smaller because we've had people ask that in the past. Why does my craft look smaller than yours? And that's usually why. Download it first. Okay, friends, I'm using the styrofoam that I picked up at Walmart and it is a one inch craft foam number 18 block and it sells for five dollars and something I forgot it keeps going up but anyway that's what I'm using today and I've already got a scrap piece here I'm also using my little uh, just uh, what is kind of soft grade um, sandpaper I don't know I <laughs> flip it over it usually says on the back side you're using 150. Oh, 150. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, and Eric's little handy dandy little block there. All right, folks, since I've been away for a couple of months, I'm going to do this. You actually haven't been away. I've been the one that's away. Well, I know, but I've been away from camera. <laughs> you know what I mean, friends. But I tried to stay active on my Facebook group page. I just love everyone. Thank you for your love and support. Friends, I just, uh, I'm just overwhelmed with how many wonderful people we have on our page. All right, I'm just going to take just a little pin, little um, big pin here. It's uh, one of these little markers. And I'm going to trace my pattern. And since this had a lot of curves to it, uh, I tried my hot knife and I kind of chopped it up really, really good. Oh, and so uh, I decided I was going to stick to my kitchen knife. So you mean when you chopped it up good, you don't mean it in a good way? No, because right here, it was real tight. The blade of my hot knife was uh, larger. And so um, I went ahead and just kind of went like that. I'll show you in a minute what I did. Um, I started to make this a stand-up Uncle Sam. I wanted it so bad because I was going to make them for my doors, but I don't know what happened. They turned out petite. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Okay, regular kitchen knife, and I just kind of go like this. Dang, Mom, you're fast. Everyone's going to think I fast-forwarded this. <laughs> Get down to business here. All righty, once that's done, get your little handy-dandy and just kind of little, give it a little work over. Okay, once you've got it prepped, sanded, Let's go ahead and give it a base coat. I'm using just apple barrel white, not, not anything fancy. And I have my cup with water. Hey, uh, hold on a second. I got a freaking phone call. Donald's calling me. Oh, okay. All right, now you can pick up where you left off. Sorry about that. All right, friends, get your aprons on and let's get to painting. I use this uh, brush that I just love. It's so good for styrofoam. And I got this in a little brush set from Walmart. Um, it's kind of, I need a new set. All I'm gonna do is water down my paint because it, it just goes on real smooth and just give it a good coat, base coat of white. And by sticking your uh, 
paintbrush in the water, it thins the paint down and it goes on a lot smoother. And I'm not going to take too long to do this, base coat it, because I want to get on to the detail. Uh, I've got to show you what I really had intentionally drawn this pattern for here in a little bit. It turned out cute, but wasn't the size that I needed it to be. But um, this would look so cute on a wreath or a garland or a door decoration. I don't know. There's just so many possibilities of what you could use this for. All right. Once I get it all base coated, right now with the weather being, whoa, what was that? <laughs> with the weather being so warm, it's a good time to to paint and put your stuff outside and let it dry. So I usually put it on a cooling rack and put it outside, let it dry. All right, I've already got one ready to be detailed. What I did for the stripes, which I'll include in the pattern as well. Friends, I cut a stencil out on this what did we call this? Overhead projection paper or yeah, transparent, transparent paper? Transparency. Uh, it's not plastic. really transfer paper because that's for no, it's, vinyl. It's transparency um, that you can pick up at Staples or Office Depot or um, I don't know where, uh, Amazon? Didn't we look it up one time and you could get it at Amazon? I mean, it's definitely on Amazon, but I, you know, while, while supplies last because everything lately has been on shortage. Yeah. Okay, and I'm using Americana, the True Red, and I'm using a dry brush. Let me just see a, that brush. It's just old. All right. It's a ceramic dry brush. But it probably works well for getting into like the porous styrofoam. Yeah. Styrofoam since it's made for ceramic. And at one time, friends, I did ceramics. I have to show you. I still have a piece that I love. It's a little scarecrow that I did a long, long time ago. Yeah, I used to remember going into the ceramic store with you. Do you remember that, Eric? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, it was like 19... It was before 19, John Paul was born. 1980-something. 80... Eight. Uh, maybe, no, it was before John Paul, so... That was... Well, 88 was before... No, wait, he was 88. 88. Um, Math is hard. Long time ago. <laughs> That's one good way of saying it. Well, a long time ago. Yeah. I used to make everybody's Christmas gifts and start on them early. All right. This is not hard to do. The only thing you have to remember is you kind of not overload your sides of your brush with paint because then it will bleed underneath the uh, stencil. And I had a person ask me, do you have to stencil everything? Friend, no, no, you don't. You can brush it on if you want to. You don't have to stencil it. But for me, this is fast and easy. I just realized you picked such a what? such a niche craft because it only really applies to Americans. Um, this is what I tell you about you and your seasonal stuff. Oh, well. <laughs> I love... <laughs> For those from other countries, this is Uncle Sam. He's the one that wants you to pay your taxes and take all your money. That's why. We're, we're Not my Uncle Sam. My Uncle Sam is just cute, and he's a cute decoration, and he loves everybody, and I love him. Oh, come on, Eric. And we provide the stencils for free. Okay, okay yes. Uh, I'm using, what am I using? What is this called? Red oh. glitter? I don't know. What does it say? It's called Red Hot Fiesta. And I just, while the paint is wet, I just sprinkle it on there. And I love this one. This is the chunky glitter. Okay, while it's wet, and I just kind of press it down a little bit. And there we go. Press it down. Actually, I'd like to hear in the comments, uh, if you're from another country, what kind of uh, Independence Days or... Any sort of uh, cool, like, national holiday specific to your country that you celebrate? I'd love to hear more about that. I totally, I apologize because I was not thinking when I did this. I was just thinking, oh, how cute. And you know what? I forgot to glitter that other. 
<laughs> back to my old tricks. I forgot to glitter um, the base coat on the white, but oh well, we'll move on. Uh, what I, I'm not gonna worry about this, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. So now we're gonna move on. See how fast that goes on? Now we're gonna go on to the, um, to the face. And I think, I think about that looks about right. I don't wanna, I'm gonna cover this up with a piece of a uh, foam sheet that's got the adhesive in the back. So that was already, that already came like that, right? And mm -hmm. then you just cut it to shape. Right. Okay. And I'll share that pattern with you too. I mean, I have everything laid out for you. Um, so now I'm just going to get the, the face, because you know what makes this craft? I think what makes him look so cute are his eyes. He looks like he wants to talk to you with his eyes. Even if you're from another country, he wants to say, hello, friend. Hey, friend. That's what he wants to say. All right. And I'm going to stencil this down on to the styrofoam. You know, really, this is the perfect template for anybody doing uh, Christmas in July. He's already kind of looks like a Santa. You could just decorate his hat more festive, you know, more suited to your, your, your wants and needs there. Yes, that's true. And, oh, I'm so excited now that you mention uh, Christmas in July. I've got all my projects lined up for Christmas in July, so you will just have to stay tuned. I'm going to be filming some more outdoor projects. And, Eric, can we do a live pretty soon? As long as I'm doing it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last one was a disaster. I had to turn my phone off. It was a disaster, but it was my other son, and he had none of us had any idea <laughs> what we were doing. First of all, friend, and do you think they bothered to contact me and ask me anything? No, well, they you didn't. were very busy, and we didn't want to bother you. We wanted you to be proud of us. And my little daughter-in-law said, "Oh, I want to do a craft with you." And I said, "Okay, send me the list of all the items that you need." Okay, I'm gonna do the nose right quick. Same color? Yeah. Gotcha. And I'll show you a trick in a minute. Well, I was just curious why you didn't make that all into one stencil then. Because I wasn't thinking at the time. <laughs> <laughs> that is so me, friends. Right. I really wasn't. So everybody else can make one stencil out of it. If yes, they want. yes, and I'll include it as one stencil. Or you could do two if but you want no, a slightly different no, shade on is, the nose, you know? But really. Maybe there, Uncle there's, Sam's there's been a, out in the sun and his, his nose is a little bit more colored. Than but his. There's, there's, there's a reason to my madness, okay, here? Uh, let me show you. Um, maybe I'll use this one. This one will be good enough. There's a reason why I do this. It just takes me a minute to remember. Yeah, my daughter-in-law sent me a list of craft supplies that she needed, and when I got the list, it was all alcoholic beverages, alcoholic stuff, and I thought, whoa, well, we better wait till you get here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but let's do a live, because um, like Eric said, it was a tad bit of a disaster, and... Um, it was mostly the audio that's the killer. We didn't know. Audio is definitely important in YouTube. But you know what? It's family time, and we had we had a blast. And um, I bet I want to do it again because then later I saw the comments that came in that I wish I could have responded to at the time. And my son, he was busy playing with that sombrero on his head. Uh, Okay, so I'm just taking this little dry brush and I'm dipping it into, see, the little circle outlines your nose. That's why I did that. I see. Okay, so. Well, and I thought that originally, but that's why I asked you and you, you didn't say that, so. Well, it took me a minute to think. Why did I do that, you know? I'll go ahead and shade that while we're at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little shading on the sides, just with this little dry brush. 
Like Uncle Sam drives a diesel because that's very American. Oh yeah. And oh since, yeah. And since I don't a, know how he can afford it. Well, these because days. he because he takes your tax money. That's why. Oh come on. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Not him. And his beard is covered in diesel because he's Remember, out there. Remember, this is my. <laughs> Cut it out. This is my guy. <laughs> Oh, I miss Derek. <laughs> uh, I bet. I've been trying to stay low-key, man. Everyone. It sure was quiet around here without him. And um, I was pretty busy doing so much. Um, I did draw all my patterns out for my Halloween stuff and my Christmas in July. And I got all that done. And I got a lot of my samples cut out. Um, where is my pattern? It's right in front of you. My pattern? Is that not it? I'll just look at him. What are we doing? I'm trying to get his his beard. Oh, darn. All righty, turn around and look at me. Okay, let me see if I can do this. Oh, yeah. Just make curly cues like this and like that. Friends, this is so easy. It's going to make you look like a pro, even if it's your first time. You can't go wrong. Trust me, I mess up so you don't have to. By the time you do it, perfect. I guess eventually I'll have to jump in and, and try some. That way, uh, anybody oh, who's lacking that would confidence. Be, that would be great. Because I don't, I don't do crafts. Oh, yes, you do. No, I don't. I mean, but you're very crafty. Yeah, but I don't do crafts like this. It's what I'm saying. Like, so it's perfect. You have a... Oh, that's true, too. That's but... what I'm saying, just because I don't use your brushes. I don't do projects like that. No, but you do all kinds of other crafts. You do wooden crafts. And you do other crafts. Oh, see how easy that was? And then let's just make another one right here. And then later we're going to detail that to where it's going to pop out. All right. Um, for right now, I'm going to leave that alone. And let's go on to the... Um, you know what? I should have been doing this one. Let's go over this one. No, I'm not going over it again. Okay, well then I have to wait till the eyes. Let me, I'll do the eyes on this one. Show you. <laughs> no, just, what's wrong with doing them on the one you just did? Well, it's not dry yet. Yeah, but how many times do you do that in other videos where you tell them like, and you can't wait, you just want to do it? All right, let's see. <laughs> I usually let it, let it dry. Like you said, it'll everything will be all right. And that's true. I shouldn't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> what did I just get through saying? I mess up so you don't have to. I think it's okay. Um, really, you, you messed up and I just don't want to wait. That's all. Well, really, <laughs> I just don't want you to wait either. It's it's okay. It's that's, it's it's good. It's good. Good it's enough. It's all good, Good friend. enough for government. It's all good. Okay, so right here... I'm going to stencil the eyes and the, we can go over it. See, if it's not dry, it won't be dark black, but I got something that'll fix that here in just a minute. Friends, I want to tell you that dry brushes last a lifetime. I have had these forever and ever and ever. And I know my John Paul used them. For some of his crafting. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be cute. All right, this is good. We're almost, we're almost at the finish, believe it or not. It's not too far. But I want that eye to be darker, so 
darker black. I'm just going to take this brush and brush the black paint on here. And this is just jet black paint, apple barrel. Guess what, friends? I'm going to give my sample away. If you want to be included in the giveaway, you have to be subscribed, comment, like, and you have to share, share my video. And share it. Don't just tell me you did it and don't do it. I'll get you. But how are you giving it, <laughs> how are you giving it away? Are you doing a hashtag? Yes, I, I'm not finished yet. <laughs> me and Leanna talked about it a while ago. Oh, I wasn't here. I was just thinking like, oh, oh you're yeah, hitting you so many rules. Get to the point, lady. <laughs> Hey, other people say you have to be 18 years of age and da 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 and whatever, and you have to be somebody that's on here frequently and da 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 da. Anyway, uh, sounds like too much work. Hashtag Sam. How about that? It doesn't get any easier than that. Don't put a space between hashtag and Sam. Hashtag okay? S A M. Mm -hmm. All lowercase, no space. Can you put that in letters out there? Sure. Thank you. All right, let's give that a minute to dry. While that's drying, let's go ahead. Friends, if you see this, if you see this at Walmart, pick it up. It's all these little uh, glittered sheets just for added, an added touch of glitter to your project. Can you turn it more project, this way? Sorry. To your, to your craft projects. Sure. And uh, the... I think it sells for $3.98. They don't always have it, but when they have it, I pick it up. It's how many sheets come in Ten. here? Ten. Ten glittered sheets. Comes in so handy. I love using these. All right. So instead of painting that, and you, there's so much you can do with this. You can paint it. You can detail it with stars. You can just do whatever you want to to dress yours up. But this is what I chose to do with mine. I'm going to put that right there. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Good goodness, goodness, it does not matter. And I just freehanded this little star. Freehanded it in. I'm going to put it up here. You can tell I freehanded it, can't you? Thing is, it's real sticky. I could tell. Okay, it's gonna go right there. I'm trying to avoid touching sticky things. All right, now, right quick, let's do the let's detail the eyes. This is what makes it want to pop and come out and say hello. Wait. Hey, friend. Wait, you didn't you didn't ask, but I. Uh, what? I'm trying to see if I can get my finger in focus here. Nothing I've been working with with butyl, which is a super, super sticky. I don't think you can tell on the camera, but I... Uh, you have something on your finger? No, I separated the skin, the outer skin from the finger. So now it's like bunching up, like the skin is separated. Because I was having to remove this adhesive and it was super sticky. And the next thing I knew, oh, it pulled the skin no. off my finger. But it didn't tear the skin. So now the skin is like loosely floating there. Eric, why do you tell me things like this? You know I can't handle that. I can't, I'm not a very good nurse, friends. <laughs> I faint at the sight of blood. I kid you not. This is true. Ugh. Oh, my God. It doesn't God. bother me. And I throw up and I gag and you name it. And her brother is an ER trauma nurse or was at one point <laughs> yes, for the longest he time. He still is. <laughs> oh, I missed the calling on that. Okay, let's go ahead and I've got just a... A little thin paintbrush here that I'm going to use for the eye detail. Hopefully it's dry enough to where I can... If not, it's going to be all right either way. All right, friends. This is what makes the eye pop right here. Just put a little bit more on here. I see what you're saying. If it was, if the paint was drier, that white would go on a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Instead, but it's, it's getting soaked in a little. But it's okay. It's going to be all right. Gotcha. Now, 
because you can use slick also and you won't have this problem. But I just kind of wanted to do it, um, show you how easy it can also be done with a brush. Because slick is getting so expensive. Uh, this is what I mean by slick paint. It's getting kind of expensive and a lot of people may not be able to afford it. So um, I just wanted to show you how you can still have that pop look on an eye with regular paint. Okay, and for, I'm using this uh, bright blue just to shade it on the inside. Yeah, and a quick shout out, not that, not that we have any partnership or relationship with Apple Barrel, but I was in Walmart oh, the other yeah. day, and I saw on the craft aisle that had their paints, they said uh, if you post on Instagram, post your crafts and you use their stuff to tag them. So I thought that was kind of interesting if you didn't know that. Give them a tag, you know, maybe they'll share your stuff. Yes, I did that the other day. I forgot about the second time I did it. I like that blue, it looks nice. It does. See how easy that goes on? Even though this is styrofoam. Another thing I wanted to mention to you, this craft can be made out of cardboard, uh, matting board, wood, one fourth inch wood, one inch wood. You can cut it out with a scroll saw, with a jigsaw, if you're pretty good. <laughs> I'm not that good. Right here, this little cut right here, I think would be um, a little difficult for me. But anyway, all right, since it's wet, I'm gonna go ahead and use this slick to detail the eyeball. Yes, this slick is getting very expensive. You have to catch it on sale when it's on sale at Hobby Lobby. All right. And, okay friends. I saw a lot of my YouTube friends that made, and some people on our um, Facebook group page that uh, made firecrackers, decorated them out of... Um, paper towel rolls? Mm-hmm. Paper towel rolls, and they were so cute, and I thought, oh, y'all need an Uncle Sam to go with that. So friends, this one's for you. As far as my other friends from other countries, I'm just saying, hello, this is Uncle Sam. He just wants to say, hey, y'all. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the slick. You don't have to, but I'm just, I just kind of wanted to show you this option. Like I said, some people may not be able to afford crafts with gas as high as it's getting. Jeez, uh, craft ridiculous. supplies, yes. I know when my daughter-in-law, when we did that uh, live and my daughter-in-law said that we paid $25 for that tequila, friends, my eyes were going like this thinking, that's a lot of craft supplies. Yeah, pretty cheap tequila. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That's pretty expensive to be. That's, that's pretty cheap. Oh, well. That sounds like, be that sound like the best deal yet. I, all I could think about was, that's a lot of crafts right there, supplies. All right, see how that kind of just gives it that little pop? You don't have to have it to have this 3D effect. You can also use speckling. All righty. Yeah, you got to get it finished so you could show them what you're going to show them. What am I going to show them? The full version. Oh, of the of of what? <laughs> the full version of Uncle Sam. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, friends. I'm sorry. It's been a while. It's been a crazy. We we've been trying to do this since what noon. Typical fashion, everything. I always had, well, I had all my lights tore down. I had the whole set tore down. So yeah. I had to set it up, and pieces were here and there, not all here. I had to go run around. 
Well, as soon as um, Eric come into town, you know, Eric is self-employed and he's got his own um, clientele that he does work for. And not only, oh, my picture disappeared. Yeah, because the battery probably died. Oh, man. We're at like 30 minutes here. Hold okay. on. Okay, and I'm just going to polish him off with a little bit of glitter on the white there. And the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my glue gun and I'm going to, I think I'm going to use these on my outdoor garland around my door and I think that'd be cute. I've got my firecrackers out in the hallway and my welcome sign. I bought a real cute welcome sign at um, the Dollar Tree. That looks so crooked. It does? The stick? It looks like you're sticking it in at an angle. There, Some, there you go. Sometimes it does. Sorry. Sometimes I do that, Eric. Well, I was just trying to point it out before you got it set in place. Well, it is crooked. Anyway, I got this welcome sign, patriotic. Sometimes it's goofy on the inside. Or could it be me? <laughs> yeah, definitely you. No, couldn't. Yeah, for sure. No, can't be me. Um, <laughs> look, I've already got my thing ready. Good. <laughs> uh, friends, I bought this really nice welcome sign, patriotic, for five bucks in the uh, Dollar Tree five dollar section. And that was a couple of months. It was during Easter, I think. And I'm so glad I bought it because, and I already had these little bows made. For, everybody's got a little bit of patriotic ribbon in their craft stash. All right, friends. Comment below and let me know what you think of my Uncle Sam. And will you be making one? I like him. I was going to show you something else right quick. Okay, this is what I had originally, boink. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is what I had originally wanted to make, friends. But I wanted him to be bigger because I wanted to put him out one on each one of my doors. But look, he turned out as a cute little centerpiece. And believe it or not, this is the same face. It just is on a different size. This is on um, a fourth inch thick styrofoam. And this is a one inch thick. And look at the difference. So anyway. Not going to lie. I think you could modify that current full body Uncle Sam to be like a little uh, nutcracker for Christmas in July or for Christmas. <gasps> yeah. Yes, yes. And you know what? My little daughter-in-law, your wife, Leanna, uh, bought me a cute little garland that's for uh, Christmas in July. It says, baby, it's warm outside. And it's got a cute little Santa. I think I'm going to make him and uh, incorporate him into looking like this. All right, friends. Thanks for joining me today. I'm so happy to be back to be crafting with you. Thanks for joining me today. Friends, follow your heart and Always believe in yourself and do more of what makes you fabulous. Love you, friends.